China steps up its military intimidation over Taiwan in the retaliation for Taiwan hosting U.S. House Speaker Nancy Pelosi. Taiwanese officials reported that 68 Chinese warplanes flew into its self-declared air defense identification zone. This is the air space around Taiwan where China frequently flies warplanes into, but this time they flew in a record number. This follows news from Chinese state media yesterday that missiles from China had actually flown over Taiwan Island, not around it, but over it for the first time in a major military escalation. These provocative military moves are part of a days-long military drill that encircles Taiwan. China has called it a simulation blockade. The message China is trying to send to the world is that at any moment, China's powerful modern military could choke Taiwan off from the rest of the world. But the fallout and the backlash from Taiwan hosting U.S. House Speaker Nancy Pelosi is also now sinking U.S.-China relations to a new low. China has announced that it is cutting off bilateral ties with the United States in a wide range of areas, including in military talks and anti-drugs, illegal immigration, and perhaps most importantly, Importantly, in climate change. Climate change was one of the few areas where the U.S. and China were continuing to cooperate despite heightened tensions. This is bad news for the world because the U.S. and China are the world's two biggest contributors to climate change, and it is critical that they continue discussions to solve the global climate crisis. Now, also, in addition to this, China has sanctioned U.S. House Speaker Nancy Pelosi and her immediate family. They declined. They did not give any details on what those sanctions would entail, but this is a highly symbolic move. But look, experts tell me that when it comes to these recent military drills, they could not have been planned in just a matter of weeks since the news about Pelosi's possible trip to Taiwan, that they were a long time in the making. But however, by pegging those military drills as a response to Pelosi's visit, it has created a lot of nationalism and patriotism at home, which is a welcome distraction for Chinese President Xi Jinping at a time when China is still dealing with the economic fallout from its zero COVID policy. Selena Wang, Beijing.